Facebook, going live, going live on Instagram. Hi, good morning everyone. Morning Facebook. Morning Instagram. Just waiting for people to join. We'll start yoga in about two minutes. Hello, Abdullah. Give us a wave. Good morning, Abdullah. Hey, Angelique. How's everyone doing? Sleep well? Good week? I think it's Thursday, right? <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know what day it is sometimes. Hello, hello, good morning, welcome. So we'll start yoga in about one minute, quarter to eight here in London. Uh, thought about going outside, I put a poll on Instagram last night asking uh, people should we do yoga inside or outside and most people chose outside. So I went outside this morning, it was just way too cold. So we're inside today, so maybe next week. Um, we can try to go outside in the sunshine when it's warm, the wind is a little bit warmer at this time. Uh, but today we'll be inside. It's good to kind of warm up the body anyway in the morning. So that's will be the focus of the practice today is just kind of warming up and getting ready for our days, whatever it may entail. Could be marathon conference calls, could be reading a book, could be doing things around the house. So we'll just prepare for the day. Um, with a nice kind of gentle flow this morning. And so class will go for about 45 minutes, so we'll finish about half eight. Um, and then after that, if you have any questions, feel free to stick around and put them into Instagram and uh, I can answer some questions, but I won't be asking questions during class just so we can maintain that flow. Um, but then also at the end of class, if you want to stay in Savasana, you know, just in your dead man's pose, feel free. That's always nice to just give yourself that little bit of time. So no 45 minutes is it all a lot. So with that, we'll just get started now. So why don't everyone just come to their mat, come to a comfortable seated position. So I will sit cross-legged. So I find that quite comfortable. And we'll just take a couple of morning deep breaths in together. So breathing in through your nose, side out. With your eyes closed, just breathing in through your nose, side out. Take another deep breath in through your nose, side out. Let's start by just warming up the spine, moving around. So let's just roll our heads in a clockwise position, looking down to your left shoulder, up to the sky, over to the right, down your right shoulder, down to the bottom, and just keep rolling your neck around. Some of you might have just woken up, so let's continue that waking up process and not shock the body too much. I know I like a dynamic practice, but it's always good to warm up first. And then let's go the other way. Just rotating your head and your neck, using your eyes to 
guide you which direction we're going. I think we're going counterclockwise or anti-clockwise as they say here in the UK. Now with your left hand, let's place it onto your right knee, so your opposite knee. And then with your right hand, place it behind your back, right on the mat. If your hand is not touching the mat, feel free to come onto your fingertips in the back hand. And we're just going to twist over to the right. So inhale as you lengthen your spine. Exhale, twisting at the torso and the belly button. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, you twist a little bit further. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, twist, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, and your gaze point should try to look behind that right shoulder, and twist, and slowly coming back. Let's try the other side now, so right hand, left knee, left hand behind your back on the mat, inhale as you lengthen, Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twisting at the belly. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. And then slowly come back. Now let's place our hands in front of us. And slowly just walk your hands straight forward as far as you can go straight arms palms flat and then bring your forehead onto the floor or whatever is available to you we we'll just lengthen out here and for, stay for a couple breaths so breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your mouth breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth Keep breathing here in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good, everybody. Cool. Now let's come onto our tabletops. So hands and knees. You want to make sure that your shoulders are right above your wrists, so not forward, not backwards, but right above. And also your hips are right above your knees and so you want to come to a strong tabletop and we'll just do a couple of cat cows together so inhale puff your chest bring your chest forward your bum back and you're an a uh, cow happy cow and then exhale you tuck your chin into your chest arch your back and you're an angry cat <clears throat> inhale Happy cow looking up. Exhale, angry cat, chin tucking in, looking back behind you, arching your spine. Let's do that for about three more repetitions so that you do that on your own. So just remember, inhale into your happy cow. Exhale into your angry cat. Inhale into your happy cow. Exhale, you're an angry cat. Inhale's your happy cow. Exhale into your angry cat. Good, everybody. Now let's make small circles around our wrists. So this going clockwise again so small circles shifting your weight forward to the right back left and then as you are doing these circles you can make them a little bigger and then get your hips into them bigger circles cool now let's go the other way small circles anti-clockwise Medium circles. And then bigger circles. Good, everybody. Cool. Now let's tuck our toes. So your toes 
should be touching the mat. Look at my toes. And then sit back onto our heels. Arms straight forward, hands in front of you. Put your chin onto the mat. Just stretching out the spine and your lats. And if you like, you can bring your forehead into your mat. And then untuck those toes. Sitting back even deeper into your child's pose. Good, everybody. Just lengthen it out. And then when you're ready, come back to your tabletop. Remember, shoulders in front, uh, above your wrists, hips above your knees, and tuck your toes. So come back onto your tucked toes and lift up your seat and come to your downward dog. So don't move your hands or your feet. Sometimes we never know how long or how wide a downward dog needs to be. That's a good uh, length to sort of think about is that you know come to a tabletop tuck your toes and just come right up and that should be about the right distance between your hands and your feet and your first downward dog of the day I know is mine paddle out those feet looking back And when you're ready, stop pedaling those feet and just take a couple breaths here. So press into those hands, roll those elbows in, get your shoulders away from your ears. You're pulling your thighs up, you're setting your kneecaps back, and then also you're setting your heels back. And we'll just be here for two more breaths of breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. And so for the rest of the practice, like everyone to breathe in through their nose and out through the nose. This is called an ujjayi breath. It keeps you warm. Good, everybody. When you're ready, start tiptoeing your feet to your wrists, to the front of your mat. So you should all be at the front of your mat. And let's just hang here for a couple of breaths. You can hold your elbows or you can put your fingertips onto the mat, but let's just hang here. Just warm up the lower back, your hamstrings. If it feels good, you can sway side to side. And then when you're ready, Slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time, coming up to standing. Good, everybody. And then feet together in front of your mat and come to Tadasana. This is mountain pose. So, mountain pose. I'll face the camera. You want your feet grounded onto the mat. So, all four corners grounded into the mat. Try lifting your toes up and then putting them back down. Roll your shoulders back. Your chest is proud, fingers are strong, going pointing straight down. And this is Tadasana, mountain pose. So if I were there and I was give you a little nudge, you wouldn't fall over. So stand strong and tall in your mountain pose. Cool. Now let's start with our some vinyasa, some sun salutation. So inhales, take our hands out wide, up to the sky. Hands together in prayer. Look at your thumbs. Salute the sun. Exhale. Fold forward. Hinge at the hips. Bring your chin forward and then bring your hands or your fingertips onto the mat. If you need to bend your knees, bend your knees in this first one. Or all of them actually. Bend your knees as you look at your belly button. Inhale. Look up and lengthen. Exhale. Now step your right foot back. Step your left foot back into plank. Exhale, lowering down into your knees. Chest and chin. And then inhale, come to your baby cobra. So sliding forward, belly every, and feet onto the mat. But your chest is slightly lifted. Elbows are pointing back, looking up. And this is a baby cobra. And then exhale, 
Coming back into your child's pose, so bring your hips back. For a couple of breaths, and then when you're ready, come up to your downward facing dog. And we'll be here for about three breaths. So inhale through your nose for one. Exhaling out through your nose for one. Inhale through your nose for two. Exhaling out through your nose for two. Inhale for three. Exhale for three. When you're ready, now step your left foot forward in between your hands. Step your right foot forward to meet your left. Exhale, forward fold. Look at your belly button. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Hands out and up. Look at your thumbs. Exhale, swan dive your hands down into the mat. That's one option. Or you can bring it down straight down in prayer. Look at your belly button. Inhale, look up. Now either step or jump your feet back to plank. Exhaling, lowering down the half press up, Chaturanga. Inhale, come to your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. So inhale for one. Exhale, press into those hands. Two. Exhale, send your heels back. Three. Exhale, inhale, look up, bend your knees, step or jump your feet in between your hands. Exhale, forward fold, belly button, look there. Inhale, bring your hands up high to the sky, look at your thumbs. Last one, we're going to swan dive our hands down, looking at our belly button. Inhale, look up, step or jump your feet to plank. Exhaling, lowering down, Chaturanga. Inhale, your upward facing dog, looking up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Remember, pull your thighs up, send your kneecaps back, heels back, hands are strong, and keep breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. Keep looking back, exhale. Inhale, look up, bend your knees, step, or jump your feet to your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Listen up, now drop your bum, bend your knees, and come to an Ukatasana, your chair pose. Exhale, bring your hands back down and look at your belly button. Inhale, look up, step or jump your feet to plank. Exhaling, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, come to your upward facing dog so your chest is forward, shoulders are back, thighs and knees are lifted off the ground, looking up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now step your right foot forward, your left heel comes down. And one breath out, you inhale and come to your warrior one, and we'll stay here for three breaths. So your front knee is about 90 degrees, your back heel is strong, your back leg is straight, your hands are up, and if you can, try to look at those fingers above you. Your hips should be squared, your chest is squared, and your shoulders are squared to the front of the room. Good, everybody. Warrior one. And exhale, let's bring our hands back down, step back to plank, and lowering down Chaturanga. Inhale, come to your upward facing dog. Exhale, come to your downward facing dog. Now step your left foot forward, right heel comes down, warrior one on the left side. So remember, back heel, right heel is strong, you're pressing out the outside edge of that right foot. Front knee is tracking forward about 90 degrees, no further than that. Hips, chest, shoulders, six headlights are pointing to the front of the room. And just stay here for a couple more breaths. And then exhale, bring your hands back down, step back to plank, lowering down Chaturanga. Inhale, come to your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay for three breaths. Inhale for one. Exhale, keep looking back two. Exhale, keep looking back three. Exhale, last breath, four. Let's do an extra one. Exhale. Now step your right foot forward, bring your left heel down, and we're coming back to a warrior one. One breath up, inhale. 
Exhale, one breath down, bring your hands back down, lowering down Chaturanga. Inhales, your upward facing dog. Exhales, your downward facing dog. Now step your left foot forward, right heels coming down, warrior one on your left side, one breath up. Exhale, one breath down, hands flat, plank, Chaturanga. Inhales, your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward, your left heel comes down, warrior one on your right side. Exhale, bring your hands back down, lowering down Chaturanga. Inhales your upward facing dog. Exhales your downward facing dog. Now step your left foot forward, right heels coming down, warrior one on the left side, one breath up. Exhale, one breath down, lowering down Chaturanga. Inhales your up dog. Exhales your down dog. Now look at that space in between your hands. You can either step or jump your feet to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come to your chair, your Ukatasana. So knees are bent, sitting back, looking at your thumbs. Five breaths. Stay here, two. Stay here, three. Stay here, four. Stay here, five. And then exhale, really standing up, Tadasana. Whew, think everyone's warm by now? I'm warm. Hope you're warm too. Cool. So given that we're warm, let's do some back bends, some forward folds. So now step or jump your feet about hip width distance apart. Place your hands on your hips. Inhale, take a little back bend. Oh. Exhale, now forward fold by bringing the chin forward, chin forward, chin forward. Now grab your big toes with your two piece fingers. Inhale, look up. Exhale, drop your head down. Pull out those toes and stay here for five breaths. Stay here two, stay here three, stay here four, keep smiling five, and exhale, release. Now we'll place our hands underneath our feet, palms facing up, fingers pointing back, look at my hands. Lift your feet up, place them underneath, you're stepping on your hands, and then inhale, strain your back, exhale, drop your head down. It will be here five breaths. So stay here for one. Keep breathing in two. Keep breathing three. Keep breathing four. Last breath, five. And exhale, release. Get, take those hands out from underneath your feet. Place them onto your hips. Slowly come up. Take a little back bend. Good morning, spine. And then feet together in front of the mat. Stand in Tadasana. Now inhale to your Ukatasana. So drop your bum, bend your knees, and Ukatasana is a chair pose. Hands up. Exhale, hands beside your feet. Look at your belly button. Inhale, look up. Now the step or jump your feet to plank. Exhaling, lowering down Chaturanga. Inhale, so your upward facing dog. Exhale, so your Downward facing dog. Now step your right foot forward, your left heels coming down. Warrior one on our right side. Exhale, opening it out. Warrior two. So five breaths here. Warrior two. Make sure your back heel is pushing down, grounded down. You're pushing on the outside edge of that back left foot. Your front knee is tracking forward, not past your not past your ankle. Your thighs are rolled out. Back hand is strong, energy is moving out that back hand. Front hand is strong, energy is moving out that front middle finger. Looking past that front middle finger. Like a strong warrior. Good, everybody. I heard another teacher describe this yesterday. It's like, you're hard as a diamond on the outside, but smooth like runny honey on the inside. So imagine that. Good, everybody. Now straighten that front leg. So both legs straight. Keep your hips where they are. Toot your bum back as you bring your front hand forward and then on the, onto your ankle or your shin. Let's bring your left hand up to the sky in Tree Konasana Triangle Pose. So keep looking at that top thumb, rolling your shoulders back. 
twisting up. And remember, you want to be thin like a piece of toast in the toaster. Good, everybody. Now inhale, coming back up. Now bend that front knee. Let's bring your elbow onto that knee like this. And then bring your left hand up, pointing forward to the front of the room. Your uh, bicep should be touching your ear, or nearly touching your ear, so you're looking straight up at that top middle finger. So the energy is moving from your back heel, traveling up the side of your leg, your lats, your arm, your hand, and that middle finger. Good, everybody. This is extended side angle pose. And then now let's place our fingertips onto the mat. Hop that back foot in about two thirds of the step of the way in. You may need to bend both knees as you get both arms, both hands around that back leg. Interlace your hands. And then exhale, you straighten both legs. Look at that big toe. Just keep breathing as you look at that big toe. And then exhale, release. Now inhale, come up, hands onto your hips. I'll show you. So my right leg is forward, my left leg is back. So if you're doing the right leg, that's where it should be, about one and a half feet apart. Now bring your left hand up. Bring it forward by leaning forward and then twist by placing it onto your leg and then bring your right hand up to the sky and this is a revolve triangle twist and just keep breathing through your nose and out through your nose and if you can try to look at that top middle finger good everybody stay here for a couple more breaths And then exhale, hands back onto the mat, step or jump back to plank, exhaling, lowering down, chaturanga. Inhale, come to your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now step your left foot forward, your right heel comes down, warrior one on our left side. Exhale, opening out, warrior two. I'll turn this way so you can see. So remember that front knee is tracking forward about 90 degrees, not past that ankle. Back foot is grounding out on the outside edge. Hands and fingers are strong, you're looking forward and your thighs are rolling up and out. And then exhale, inhale, strain that front leg, hop that back foot in about two thirds, of, sorry, hop that back foot in one step. Keep your hips where they are, two them back as you bring your front hand forward, place it onto your leg, and then inhale your right hand up to the sky, and you're in Tree Kanasana Triangle Pose. Just keep breathing here. And then exhale, release, inhale, come back up. Now re-bend that front leg, so you're in the warrior two. Place your left elbow onto that left thigh. Inhale your right hand up and over. Your ear point to the front of the room into your extended side angle pose. Keep breathing. And then exhale, release. Place your fingertips back onto the mat. Hop that back foot in about two thirds of the step of the way in. And then with both knees bent, you may need to do that in order to get both hands, both arms around both legs. And then interlace your hands as you exhale, straighten your legs. Look at that big toe, big toe for an intense leg stretch. And keep looking at that big toe. Keep breathing through your nose and smile and exhale, release. 
Now keep your feet where they are, come back up. Bring your right hand up by your, to the sky, by your ear. Hinge forward at the hips. Now place your right hand on that left leg. Bring your left hand up to the sky for a revolve triangle twist. Three breaths. So breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Stay there two, stay there three, and exhale, release. Place your hands back onto the mat. Now either step or jump your feet back to plank. Exhaling, lowering down to your chaturanga. Inhales, your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now when you're ready, uh, step or jump both feet up to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming all the way back up to, hands up to the sky. Exhale, standing feet together in front of your mat. Tadasana. So let's do a couple of standing poses before we sit down. So tree. Option one, bring your right uh, foot, the sole of your right foot, right by your ankle. And your toe can be touching the ground, the floor, and that's option one. Option two, bring it a little higher, above or below your knee. Option three, bring it up to your groin, on the inside of your stand, left thigh, hands in prayer in front of your heart center. Look at a point in front of you that's not moving, so don't look at me. Find your balance. And exhale, release. Shake everything up. Uh, left side. So let's bring your left, uh, so your left foot in by your ankle. Or option two here, option three here. So find your option. Option one, two, or three. Hands in prayer in front of you. And find your balance. And exhale, release. Now bring your right knee up. Place your hands underneath your knee. Cross both hands over your knee. So your left hand's holding the outside. Your right hand's on the inside. Find your balance on the standing leg. And then inhale your right hand up. So you're holding the outside of that right knee. And stay here for a couple of breaths. And then exhale is twisting out to the right to bring your hand to the back of the room. Try to find your gaze point at that back thumb. And then exhale is bring your hand back to that knee. Don't let that foot touch the floor. Kiss your knee. And then option one, sink into your hips, just cross your right leg over your left. And this is option one. Option two, you can bind your toe behind your back calf. So choose your option one or two. With your left hand, bring it to your right shoulder. With your right hand, bring it to your left shoulder. And this is a modified eagle pose. Let's have release, come back up, shake everything out. Now we'll do everything on the left side. So bring your left knee up, hold underneath your left knee. Ground down on that standing leg, cross both hands over that knee. Now bring your left hand up, your right hand is holding the outside of your knee. Five breaths. And then exhale, bring the hand back. Gaze point at that back thumb. And then exhale, bring your hand back to that knee. Do not let that foot touch the floor as you kiss your knee, cross it over your right leg, sink down into your hips. 
Option one, just stay here. Option two, hook that back foot behind that uh, standing leg calf. Bring your right arm over your left. Give yourself a hug. And then exhale, release. Shake everything up. Do, 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 do. Cool. We'll come to sit, but let's earn it. So let's do one more vinyasa. This is a vinyasa practice. Vinyasa means movement with breath into a very special place. So let's enjoy this last vinyasa very slowly. So slowly, let's inhale our hands out wide. Place your hands in prayer. Look at your thumbs. Enjoy this. Exhale, swan. Dive those hands down either side of your feet. Looking into your navel. Inhale as you look up, you strain your back. Exhale, place your hands back down and step your right foot forward and then step your left foot forward to plank. Exhaling, lowering down Chaturanga. Inhale as you upward facing dog. So bring your chest forward, your shoulders are back, knees and thighs off the ground. Looking up. Oh. Exhale, rolling back over those toes, hips up high and coming into your downward facing dog. Last one of the day. Enjoy it. And then when you're ready, you can jump your feet through your hands or just cross your leg to sit and place your feet out in front of you. And we're sitting down in staff pose, dandasana. So, trick here is you want to remove the flesh of your bum out, ground your sit bones into the mat, feet straight out in front of you, toes pointing towards your face, and then place your hands by your side, and puff your chest forward as you bring your shoulders back, your chin is parallel to the mat, looking straight ahead in front of you, dandasana staff pose. Now if you can, try to lift your uh, heels up one centimeter above the ground. So you're just your heels, not your legs. And then you're setting the back of your knees down into the mat. So you're stretching out those hamstrings, the back of those legs. Good, everybody. And then exhale, coming back down. Inhale, your hands up high to the sky. Exhale, bring them forward and grab your big toes. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bring your chin forward and come to your Pachimo. And exhale, release. Now with your left hand, we'll place it onto our right knee. With our right hand, let's bring it up to the sky. And then almost bend over like a rainbow. So bring your right hand towards that extended left foot. I know it won't be touching. It's not touching for me. But we're just opening out our right side with a little twist. So left hand on right knee. Right hand up to the sky, opening it out. Good, everybody. And then exhale, release. 
Now let's bring that right knee back up. Place your right hand behind you onto the mat. With your left hand, hug your knee and twist over to the right. And so this is option one. Feel free to stay here. I know it's early for those spinal twists. Might not, your spine not be, might not be warm enough, but if it is, you may want to try for a deeper twist by placing your elbow on the outside. Twisting over, I will stay in option one actually. Good everybody, that's coming back. Cool. Now let's uh, do the left side. So bring your left knee up, so the left foot plant onto the ground, opening out that left knee. So the foot should be inside that front leg. Hips squared, inhale your hands up. Exhale, forward fold. And if you cannot grab your foot, you can grab your ankle or your leg and bring your forehead into your knee. And then exhale, release. Now for the twist, bring your right hand onto your left knee for a little twist to the side. And with your right left hand, bring it up to the sky and then bend over like a rainbow. So opening out those lats on the left side. So bring it up and then slightly over towards that extended right leg. It won't, your hand won't reach there. But then imagine sort of bowing out like a rainbow on the side. And then exhale, release. Now let's bring that left knee back up. Place your left hand behind you onto the mat for balance. With your right hand, hug that knee and twist over towards the left. And exhale, release. Now, uh, let's place our, the soles of our feet together. You can bring them up close to your groin, if that's available to you. And we're just opening out our hips, sitting straight up, chin forward, shoulders back, chest forward. Good, everybody. And then exhale, release. Now let's come onto our mats, onto our stomachs. So lying flat onto the mat. Hands by your chest. Shake out your hips. Bring your chin onto the mat. And let's do a small baby cobra. So lift your chest up. Your elbows are back. And you're looking straight up. Tops of the feet onto the floor for a little back bend. And exhale, coming down, shake out your hips. Now, with your feet, lift your feet off the floor, keep your forehead onto the mat. So we just did the front half, we did the back half. Now we will do both. So when you're ready, hands flat onto the mat, chin onto the mat. And when you're ready, inhale, lift your hands, feet, chest, chin off the mat for locust pose. Breathing here for three breaths. And then exhale, slowly come down. Good, everybody. Now it's rolling back. Uh, onto our backs like a pancake or flip over. Bring your knees into your chest. See if you can try to get your ankles close to your bum. So you should be able to touch your ankles with your fingertips. And I want you to just lift your hips up and then bring your hands underneath your waist by your sacrum for supported bridge. So your elbows are on the mat, pressing down onto the mat. 
your hands are pressing your waist up just for a little soft back bend. So keep your hips up. And exhale, slowly come down, shake everything out. Last thing, let's bring your knees into our chest. Give yourself a hug and we're done. Thanking yourself for the practice. Rolling back and forth, massaging out that lower back, that spine. And then let's squeeze, give yourself a hug, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze like a little ball, bring your chin into your chest. And exhale, release. Ah. Let everything go and come to Shavasana. So Shavasana, dead man's pose, you just want to be relaxed. Your shoulders, relax. Elbows, relax. Wrists, 